What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Cap, back again with another Road to the Show episode. I believe this is episode number 35 with the glitch in the game, Poppy Cap. Now, I know I didn't upload a video yesterday, and uh, that was kind of on my fault. But today, we're here with Poppy Cap. We're still in AAA, and in case you guys are wondering why we haven't been called up, I'm just as shocked as you guys are. Delino the Shields is only batting 178 on the season. He has low contact. He technically is with the Cleveland Indians right now, but technically here in run to the show, he's still with the Rangers. Joey Gallo is the starting left fielder. Delino the Shields is the starting center fielder. Omar Mazar is the right fielder with Christopher Mary as the DH. I mean, Mary's not doing well. I mean, Mazar's doing something at least. Delino the Shields, not really. And of course, there's us. Look at that, batting over 500 in only seven games seven games but today we're going to be playing a three game or four game whatever the series is against wichita so hopefully we're going to try and do well today let's go to the practice field let's work on our fielding you know we can always increase on our fielding so uh yeah we're gonna to hope to have a good game and uh hopefully get a good series and maybe even maybe get called up all right ladies and gentlemen we are going to be the home team today and what's crazy is that we are also going to be the DH here tonight. That's right. We're not on the field. For some reason, the manager thought, you know what, Poppy Cap, it's best that you play DH. You have a strong arm, but you're going to play DH as we have a different camera angle, but we're going to change that. There we go. Much better. Here we go, Poppy Cap. Let's see if we can get this game started. Good eye, good eye. Running fastball. So here we are. Game two of the series, I believe, since uh, we got benched on the first one. So there's a lot of baseball that we got to talk about. I'm pretty sure you guys have already heard. But the San Diego Padres has to get a perfect, perfect single. Here we go for a second at bat. As you guys know, a whole bunch of stuff went down. The San Diego Padres, as of right now, seem to be the winners of the trade deadline. They traded for so many players, including one of our angels. That's right. Jason Castro got sent down south. To San Diego in exchange for, I believe, a left-handed prospect, a left-handed pitcher, which I hope will help us out two or three years down the line, or maybe next year. Who knows? But, yeah, we got a prospect in return, which I'm happy because the Angels are in dire need of pitching, let me tell you. And also, they got so many players, man. They got, I think they got Mitch Moreland, if I remember correctly. They also got another catcher, uh, I'm trying to, uh, uh Austin Nola from Seattle. They got some pitchers from Seattle. There's so many, so many pieces that they got. As Papa Cap hits the no doubter all the way to the right center. Look at him, watch that. Over the billboard of SDS. Look at that. Well over 430 feet. You love to see it. Let's take a look at that replay. But yeah, as I was saying, San Diego seem to be the clear winners of the trade deadline. They got five big pieces. I feel like I'm missing one more. Oh, yeah. Mike. Clevenger, that's right, the big piece that I for some reason cannot remember. They got Mike Clevenger. Here we go. We got a dynamic challenge. Let's just swing for a hit. That's all we want. I mean, we got a, we're got we down 2-1, but let's just make some contact right now. Anyway, yeah, Mike Clevenger, uh, it was a pretty good move on Cleveland's end because obviously they didn't want to deal with uh, the publicity that surrounds them, which I guess it's understandable. But from, uh, from a winning standpoint, if they're trying to make the playoffs – Probably not the best idea. And San Diego, in my opinion, didn't really give up a whole lot for uh, for getting Mike Clevenger because they get Mike Clevenger for like the what next year, year or two, I believe. After this year, they get, I think they get two more years after this four year. As we get, as we challenge fail. Oh, we didn't contact for a swing. That's right, I forgot. I, I pressed X. But I was saying, yeah, San Diego, they really really want that playoff push and if they want it they went ahead and did the changes that were required they did have to give up a whole lot of prospects but none of the big prospect names that we know like uh uh for example adrian morahone who has yet to get called up or not really um a big name for sure but just not uh been traded which is a really really good sign but yeah san diego seems to be the real clear winners and uh, there were also some other trades, too. I mean, it wasn't just my, uh, Sia uh, San Diego making all the trades. Miami went out ahead and got uh, Starling Marte from Arizona to the Miami as we win the first ball game. As Papa Cap, I mean, without a doubt, is the player of the game. With We got a hit at least in all of our at-bats. I mean, Papa Cap is just a glitch. But let's continue with this trade talks in the next game right now. All right, here we go. Next game. 
Here we go. This is, I believe, game three of the series. So here we go. Pop and Cap coming up to step up again. I believe we're the DH again. No. We're actually starting in center field. All right, here we go. Like I said, back to the trade talk. Miami going out and getting some players. I mean, the big name that they got was, of course, Starling Marte. They believe to make the playoffs this year. And you know what? I'm all for it. Look at Miami. I mean, of course, they didn't play for, what, a good two weeks because of the, because of a whole COVID scare. And uh, you know what? Maybe you turn on the light, you know, turn on the light bulb above their head saying, hey, we may have a good record since we stopped playing, but this could be like a good reset for us. And you know what? It's starting to look like it. They've been teetering back and forth in the win-loss record, but hey, they're still making that case for the playoffs right there. I mean, let's talk about some other people, maybe players that didn't get traded, like Lance Lynn. Lance Lynn did not get traded whatsoever, and people wanted him, or people thought about trading that they, he was going to get traded as we get thrown out, trying to stretch it into a double. A little bit unfortunate right there. But here we are in center field. Lance Lynn didn't get traded. Texas believes that they're going to make the playoffs. I mean, who knows, man? I mean, Texas, you're, t you're talking about a division where, of course, in Seattle, you got Kyle Lewis. Um... You're also talking about division like the Astros and then Oakland, who's been hot. I mean, it's definitely going to be a tough division. Texas, I don't see them making the playoffs, but I hope they prove me wrong. I really do. And the Dodgers, I think the only move that seemed uh, somewhat recognizable as we get a perfect, perfect is, of course, Ross Stripling. And that's going to be a perfect, perfect home run. You hang out, we bang it, and just like that, probably cap with the second home run of the series. Just look at him, man. He knows what to do. He continues to mash the ball, and that's, guess what? You'll love to see it. Just like that. Uh, I believe we get the lead, and we still do. Top of the fourth in center field. Yeah, man. Dodgers did not make a trade. Uh, that was big, really. The only trade, like I said, was Ross Stripling. And uh, she, I mean, I believe Joel Sherman and LB, uh this morning on MLB Network did say that he knew he wasn't going to get a lot of playing time especially in the postseason, if the Dodgers do make the playoffs, which is most likely that they will. But, yeah, it's definitely going to be uh, not that much of a change uh, seeing the postseason for the Dodgers roster. As we get another Jimmy Jack, baby, another no-doubter onto the hill for the glitch of the game. Pop it, cap, you hang it, we bang it. Third home run of the series, 418 feet. You love to see it. Look at Puppet Cap, dude, all pro out. He's just ready for that call. I mean, I'm just waiting myself. When is Papa Cab going to get called up? Dude, he's waiting. He's waiting. All right, here we go. This is our fourth at bat of the game. Four, uh, three for three. Let's see if we can go four for four like last game, man. Let's go. Come on. Oh, that's going to be over the head of the third baseman. That might be an RBI. It's not. It's actually going to leave the bases loaded. But Papa Cab has a four for four game, which means he's eight for eight in this last eight at bats. Now, Papa Cap is right now showing that he's unstoppable he has yet to be retired as we win this next game six to three and of course it's one guy for player of the game and it's the glitch in the game pop a cap just look at him two home runs in this game with three rbis which is half of the runs here today really really good performance i think there's only one thing left to do and play one more all right ladies and gentlemen third game of the video but fourth game of the series Let's see if Poppy Cap can go out on top. He has yet to be retired. And I know I probably shouldn't say anything, but you know what? He hasn't been retired in eight straight at-bats. I don't remember in the last game if he got a hit, but hey, eight straight at-bats. I'd obviously have to go check it out. That ball's going to be hit into the gap. We got to throw it in quickly, and that's exactly what Poppy Cap does. Make sure the runner holds up at second. Not try and get sneaky with that 79 speed. And it ain't going to work on us. Here we go. We do have a 20-game hitting streak with us, which is really, really nice. Something that really haven't said much. But hey, this is the minor league, so it may not be too much of a difference. But hey, the hitting streak is a hitting streak. As the pitcher gets a favorable call right there, the Wichita wind surge are 4-7, and seven, which is not a really good record. We are those six and five, so let's see if Poppy Cap can get a hit. Though we have a six thirty nine batting average, of course, getting on base and getting base hits is helping that a lot. Here we go, come on! Oh no, that's gonna be the first time we're retired. Wow, Poppy Cap. Mm, I know I shouldn't have swung at that, but that I, that looked like it was gonna be hit hard. 
Unfortunately, it wasn't. But here we are in center here. It is the top of the second. It's a 2-1 game. I mean, it's already three runs in the first inning between both of us. As Papa Cat makes the play so nonchalantly. But yeah, dude, we need to get some offense rolling and going. All right, guys. Um, this is the part of the episode where I want to give up my uh, my postseason predictions as we're going to try and drive in the run here for the dynamic challenge. Run on first, though. Probably should have thought about that more sooner. Here we go. This is who I think will make the playoffs this year, as in the eight teams from the uh, from the American League and eight teams from the National League. Okay, the two teams from each division, and then I'll give the two teams from the wild card. Here we go. As we get a home run with Papa Cat, man, I wish I really would have gotten a hit in the last at bat. But we go deep. You hang in. We bang in, and just like that, we take the lead and we complete the challenge. Look at that. Papa Cab fails to disappoint everybody. This guy thought he could sneak a heater on us. And the first at bat, he threw a high fastball, which was something I was watching. And hey, first pitch, you attack right there. Just like that, we take a, a, the lead now, 3-2. to two. Back to what I was saying. This is my playoff prediction. Here we go. Ready? From the American League West, this is who I have. You ready? I have the Houston Astros because they have hitting and... For some reason, they find a way to win. They find a way to get wins. So here we go. Of course, Houston Astros and Oakland. Pretty obvious choices right there. I don't see Seattle Angels or Oakland making it. It's it's sad because, you know, wow, that's actually a favorable pitch. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I, those two teams, that's who I see. Next division, we're going to go with the AL Central as I swing at a dumb pitch. My finger tapped on the X button thinking about check swinging. Okay. All right, let's see if we can actually get a hit. Come on, pop a cap. Oh, that's going to be foul. Okay, AL Central uh, is going to be, ready? The Minnesota Twins and the Chicago White Sox. Now, the White Sox are definitely favored to be Whoa. in the playoffs. Many are thinking Whoa. Cleveland because even though they traded Mike Clevenger, they think they have a chance, but Lindor's walking out this season. The fact that he didn't get traded is a sign of what seems like the future for the Cleveland Indians, and I have the White Sox making it second. Not first, but second. I mean, Minnesota still has a strong ball club. Kenta Maeda, as we strike out. Wow. That was actually a really good pitch. I'm not going to be mad at that. But that, okay, next up, it's okay. We're only one for three. Wow, that's actually really bad. All right, we need a multi-hit game. Come on, Papa Cap. You know what to do. Here we go. Okay, not the way I wanted it. But, yeah, those are the two teams for the AL Central. The AL West, I believe I already said them. So, AL East is going to be the Yankees, which we all know are the favorites. And, uh... I'm 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 gonna give a hot take right here. I see Toronto, Toronto making a late season surge and winning the second place in the division and making the playoffs. I know you're probably thinking Tampa Bay. I feel like Tampa Bay is gonna f come out short. They're definitely gonna come out short. And the two teams in the wild card are gonna be, of course, the Tampa Bay Rays, which I do believe Tampa Bay is gonna make the playoffs. As we hit another home run for Papa Cap. Look at that, Papa Cap. But the, another home run, dude. That barely snuck out. But, hey, deep, deep, barely deep center, man. Of course, that's going to be the hardest part. In the corners of left center and right center are going to be the hardest spots to hit home runs. And he did just that. But the game ain't over. Here we go. And the two teams, like I said, in the AL wild card are, of course, going to be the Tampa Bay Rays. And here's a, here's a little bit of a sneaker decision as we get the last out. Second team to make it into the wild card. The Cleveland Indians. There, they're gonna find a way. They're gonna find a way, and that's my prediction for the American League. I'll give you guys the next prediction for the National League and next episode for Papa Caps Road to the Show. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we had probably one of the best series performances we've ever had. We got bets on the first game, and we definitely showed up in those next three games with how many home runs? Like what? Seven? Nah, I'm kidding. Maybe like five. Maybe six. But still, one of the great performances by Papa Cap. If you guys enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up comment down below when you guys think we'll make our debut. And of course, subscribe to the channel. It is very, very much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later.